So it's super early in the morning on Friday. It's 7.30 and I'm going to court right now, which sucks and Josh is nice enough to come with me. Um, it's really stupid. I'll, I'll probably tell the whole story on, oh, what's going on? Fire truck? They're not loud enough. Well, they don't care. Um, but yeah, it's, I'll explain the whole thing like later after this is over, but um, it's just a stupid traffic ticket and I have to go because my insurance was expired by like literally a week and a half or two weeks. Well, it wasn't even expired, you just didn't have the proof of it in your car. Yeah, I didn't have like an updated card, cart, so I had to go to court because of it. So I'm back home now. Um, I It's now almost like two. I came home and just slept after court because it was so early, like, um, we wanted to be there super early, so, I don't know, I barely got any sleep last night, and I'm not used to getting up at 6, um, but it went okay, it went as well as court could go, I'm gonna make a full video about, like, what happened and the whole situation, but it really, it wasn't that big of a deal, like, at all, but I, I did fight with the judge a bit, like, I... He dismissed me, like I took my guilty thing, which I, I had a seven point ticket, I got it reduced to one point, so I obviously am gonna plead guilty to that because, or else I'd have to come back to court and fight it with police officers and stuff and I wouldn't wanna do that. Honestly, I feel like I didn't even deserve the one point, but I, it's just not even worth it. And that's why I think the criminal justice system is so fucked up because it makes it so difficult to fight for your innocence. Like, people that do have a job that's not flexible like mine like they don't want to take off another day so they just take the ticket and sometimes it can be a lot but i fought with him about the amount like i sat i sat down and then i reset up and requested to talk speak with the judge again he was like a really nice judge but he was like letting everyone off with these huge reductions on their ticket costs like every single person people speeding in school zones oh 150 dollars off oh i'll take i'll take half off this like someone got theirs reduced down to 30 and then mine i went up to the um the person who gives you like the bailiff who gives you um your ticket and it was 150 bucks and i was like how am I paying more than people who are speeding in school zones? Like, he didn't reduce mine at all. He's reduced every single person before me. So I thought that was unfair, and she she agreed with me. So she had him, like, reevaluate. So he ended up taking 50 bucks off. But it's just annoying because I really didn't do anything wrong. Like, it was stupid. I, the one point that I ended up pleading guilty to was a broken taillight, which I didn't even have a broken taillight. So the whole thing was just stupid. I just personally feel like a judge... Um, didn't go to law school to spend his whole morning dealing with small traffic cases. I don't get why we have a judge looking at that. I wish it was someone, I think it should be someone less qualified you just sit in a room with and negotiate and get it done with. But it's like wasting tons of time and resources and taxpayer dollars for stupid things like this when there's like real criminals out there. The whole thing, like when I got pulled over, I, I know I haven't told you guys like the story of what happened, but I was really mad because I felt like I was treated like I was a criminal by the police officers. Like, I was very polite. I didn't do really anything wrong. It was an illegal lane change, but it wasn't. Um, that's just because they didn't have anything to actually put down for my offense because mine isn't even, what I did wasn't even like really ticketable. It was, it was such a small thing and I was treated so, so badly. Like just, they were searching my car and it just was not a good experience. And I haven't had many good I've had maybe one nice police officer pull me over and I, I got pulled over a lot in high school But I haven't been pulled over in a few years now and I've had a couple just like really unfortunate run-ins with police And it's making me like to the point where when I got pulled over this last time I was shaking because I was so scared because they treat you so Badly or make you feel like you did something just awful when a traffic violation is something that happens to everyone and shouldn't you shouldn't be treated so terribly and I know not all officers do but there are quite a few that that you know do that and it's just frustrating. I'll save the rest for a video. I'm gonna talk about it like I think next week I'll make like a little rant or something. Anyway, I just ordered some really cute, uh, I thought I would show you guys. Um, this is from Zazzle and I'll put a link in the description box to these if you're interested in them. They are wedding programs and it's like a timeline. I was talking to you guys about it in the last vlog. It's what I was working on this week because I made these myself. 
Um, like I customize them pretty much as much as you can. Okay, here's the right one. I had to fix it because the photo icon was over here. We're doing photos first. So photos at three, 6.30 tie the knot, seven o'clock cocktail, 8.15 dinner, 9.30 cake cutting, 9.45 to 11 is like our party time. So I thought that ended up really cute and I wrote this little part. I added a bunch because it looked really different. Like this is why I love Zazzle so much you guys because I'll show you. So this is how it looked originally. It actually looked like this was um, over here. So I, I changed like pretty much everything. All the, this is like the standard one and then I changed it to this. So that's why I love Zazzle because you can make it so customized. Chancey's still here. We've had him for a couple extra days because of the snow. My mom didn't want to come pick him up, but it's okay because we don't mind having him here obviously. But she is coming in about 10 minutes to get him, so. Chancey, mommy's coming. Mommy's coming! Mommy's coming to get you! <laughs> He's so excited. She's gonna be here like any minute, so it's not lying. Oh, I love when you do that little stretch, buddy. Chizzy, Mommy's here! Mommy's here, Chizzy! <laughs> He's been so excited. We've been like torturing him for days. We have to go out to Walmart for three days! It took me three days! Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Mommy's back. Yay! <laughs> Are you okay? I didn't get you any grass. Oh, he left. Where is he going? Chance, Chance, come. Chance, come. Chance, what's this? Oh, yes. he's so good. So, Chance is gone. All gone. And I'm just having some tomatoes and I'm watching Monica the Medium, which I've already seen this entire show, if you've never seen it. It's on On Demand on Comcast. I've seen the whole thing, but I somehow missed this one episode. It's like episode seven or something. So I'm just watching that. Just waiting for Josh to get home. It's like five. Um, he's gonna pick up some sushi for us, some sashimi tonight. And we're gonna decorate Easter eggs because my mom ended up buying me, uh, she like when she came over, she always brings me so much stuff. You guys have gotta see all the stuff she brought for me. She brought me some tulips because she always says tulips remind her of me because apparently the tulips bloomed on the day I was born or something like that, I don't know. She bought me an EOS lip balm. I don't know why this isn't focusing. And she got me two egg decorating kits. Which I wasn't planning on decorating eggs, I haven't in so long, but since I, you know, uh, low carb, you eat a lot of eggs, I can have some um, hard boiled eggs because of that. So that'll be fun. He also brought me some Adam's natural peanut butter, all low carb things. And she brought me some Bloody Mary mix because those are my favorites. And she brought me some mixed nuts and garbage bags. She always just, she comes with so many random things. So I'm making some edamame and I'm also boiling um, eggs. This will be for with our dinner, but this is for coloring. Josh is on call this week and it's 7.45. We're just about to sit down for dinner and Josh gets a ticket. Life of an IT guy. Look at this. Mm. Raw, raw fish. Hey guys, so it is now um, Saturday and get to have a carb night tonight. I love having the carb nights and it really helps like restart everything. Like my weight loss has been much more consistent since I started doing the carb nights. If you don't know what a carb night is, I'll link it below, but it's a specific diet I'm on um, to, yeah, I don't know. It's just been really helpful. You can only eat the carbs for six to eight hours. So we start at like four. Um, I think we're gonna go to one of my favorite pizza places called Pasquini's. I haven't been there in like literally two or three years. It's been a long time, so I'm excited to go have some of that. And then I'm gonna go get a spray tan. Josh needs to get a haircut. I need to go to the P.O. Box. I need to go to Walgreens. So I gotta run a few errands. Um, but we've been cleaning all morning, cleaning the house. It looks nice and clean in here, which Josh loves. Josh is like such a clean freak. Like sometimes it just gets so out of hand in here because I'm more of a messy person and he like breaks down and is like, we need to clean everything now. Post office. Yeah, just throw that in there. Package. So I'm here at um, Dark Tan getting a spray tan. And I'm almost done with Dark Tan. Like my next thing is like I have one more month left that I've paid, but then I'm switching to a new place because I'm not wild about this place. But 
Yeah, the new place I'm gonna go has a Versus Ball Pro. But anyway, Josh is getting his hair cut right now. I'm gonna go pick him up after I get my spray tan. Nice, look at that haircut. I like that, I like that. Yeah. We are about to go get some pizza for our carb night from Pasquini's. Okay, we're at Pasquini's on Broadway in Colorado. This is the restaurant. I'm so excited to have some pizza. I haven't had pizza in a while. So they give you these bread sticks when you come here, and that's like so the main reason that I like coming here. Oh. This is the original one, like this is the original Pasquini's. There's a big one in Highlands Ranch. Look how good this looks. I get the pineapple. Mm. So we had a restaurant.com gift card and you had to get up to $30 to use it so we had to fill it so we got cannolis for our dessert here and I don't think you've ever had a cannoli have you? This is so good though. I want you to try one. Josh has never had a cannoli before. Okay. Josh, you're so picky. Just grab one. It's different than American dessert. It's it's good, like it's more, there's different tastes, so just be open-minded to it. Josh is a picky dude, I have to prepare him for things. How's that though? I hate it. What? You hate it? No, it's good. No, you like it? Oh, don't trick me, I thought you were serious. I was like, oh no. Some like scavenger hunt or something going on. Like, I keep seeing girls in tutus just like running around. I didn't really even catch that on film, but oh. See them? Yeah, they're looking at something. Yeah, there's definitely. Some there's like t different teams. We've seen all these different teams like run by the restaurant. It's hilarious. So Josh and I decided to take a little um, drive up to this park that we used to always drive to in high school. It's called Daniel's Park. I go more down. <laughs> Josh doesn't want to get his shoes dirty. And I must say, it's really nice out here. It is. So peaceful. I used to come out here in high school all the time and just, just for the drive, because I like driving up here. And then sometimes I just sit here and think. And it especially looks nice with all the snow. I know, it's so pretty. Josh and I decided to upgrade the cat's food a little bit to Imes Proactive Health. Yeah, I mean, we're not like rich or anything, so we can't buy the really nice I mean, stuff. One day I'll buy that. This is an upgrade because what were we giving them before? The cheapest friskies down there. Yeah, for the for the dry food too. Oh, that's not good. We should have been doing something healthier. And then we got them some Imes wet food too because they normally have friskies, which is basically McDonald's for cats, and it's not good. I just wanted to keep like a more fattening one because Tucker was having like he was losing too much weight, and they only split one can a day that, between the three of them. Are there any toys that they would want? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's get them one in. Oh, this one's plus size for Lily. <laughs> when I first got Lily, I had to, she was left from her mom too young. We found her and I had to give her a little bottle just like this. All right, cats, it's time to try your oh, new it's dinner. More like real food, guys. <laughs> That's good. Let me pour some of this little, uh, I think I've shown this before, but it's called Viralize, and it's for Tucka, for his feline herpes. Feline herpes, and which is not an STD. Every time I say he has herpes, people are like, oh my god, what? <laughs> feline herpes is different. What's wrong? Do you want some food, baby? Wow, Lily's gonna eat first? I've never seen this. Lily's like, nice. Tucker doesn't want it. Neither of them do. He's like, where's the slop? We call it slop. We call frisky slop because it pretty much is. You guys are being upgraded to a healthier option, okay? Wow, Meatball and Lily are sharing at the same time. You guys are being so good. Good girls. She's going to sit back there. <laughs> Tucker, that's all that's coming, dude. He's like, what the hell? Why are you changing on me? <laughs> He thinks you're gonna get him actual slop. Nope. Sorry Not tonight. Oh, I think he might like it too, actually. <laughs> good kitty. Yeah. Good boy. You guys oh, are such good, good cats. Awesome. Here we go. We are doing Easter eggs now. Last night we didn't want to do them because we were super tired from going to court yesterday. 24 carat eggs. These are like gold glazing eggs and these are neon. So we only have 10 eggs. So we'll just do like one of each, I guess.
Josh is super excited because he bought the cat's new brush at Walmart too. <laughs> you guys are getting royal treatment today. I don't think she likes that. She's trying to bite it. <laughs> <laughs> No, she doesn't want that. I'm tired of your shitty. All right, I'm about to dye these Easter eggs. <laughs> So this is how the eggs turned out. I think they look pretty good. They're all like golden glazed. This one's my favorite one for sure. It looks all spacey. But I got this dye stuff all over my hands. So I read that the best way to get it out is baking soda and um, uh, vinegar. So I'm gonna try that. So that worked like really well. It took it all off. And it also made my ring like sparkly as hell. <laughs> hmm, didn't know. Hopefully that's not bad for it. Hey guys, it's um, Easter today. Just got back from working out. We are getting ready to go to Josh's aunt's house to celebrate Easter. I don't really celebrate Easter because I'm not religious, but when I was a kid, my parents did the whole bunny thing and stuff. So I've always done something on Easter, but um, Josh's family's more religious, so Easter's a big deal for them. Anyway, getting ready now. I have to leave here in like 50 minutes, but glad I got the workout in. So we're all dressed up going to Easter at Josh's aunt's house. Um, I don't know if I'll vlog there, I won't, probably. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'll, I might vlog a little bit, we'll see. But I brought those tulips that my mom got me because I just figured that it would be a nice thing to give them. And then I also brought bottle of wine. Where's my bottle of wine? It's in your purse. Oh, no it's not. I put it yeah, somewhere. Is. It's not in my purse. Here it is. Some red wine. Mentally prepared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, start aligning yourselves. Okay. So when you're no one can sit there. When you're a little, it was the first couple. Now you gotta go yeah, higher. Yeah, gotta go up higher. Okay. I'm the shortest. Where would you like the door? Okay. You gotta be, you gotta be positioned the same way, guys, don't you? It's the same just way. Oh, you want to be? Oh, we should. No, you're right. Yeah. 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 It's fun to compare I'm them all. Like I'm right here. Front, front right. Here. Todd, Todd wants to recreate. Okay, and then we add in. Okay, right, right. ready. You're about in the right spot. So we're home from Easter. Um, I drink a lot of wine, so I'm actually like really tired. Um, Josh is gonna grab the mail real fast. I don't know if we have anything, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so that I can edit and upload it tonight, maybe, if I'm, I kinda need a nap. So it might be Monday, but we'll see. But I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you had a good Easter if you celebrate, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.